So here he is, the Dagestani combat sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Used to wrestle bears as a kid, and he's been equally successful against human beings, undefeated thus far. Most takedowns in a single UFC fight took Abel Trujillo down 21 times on 27 attempts, Joe, and that was a three-round fight. More often than not, when this man wants you on your back, that's exactly where he'll put you. And if you want to get up, best of luck to him. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. This young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. Matthews is obviously legendary for his wrestling skills, a UFC Hall of Famer, and a long-time welterweight champ. He's incredibly strong for a 170-pounder, has great submissions, and he's fought and beaten the very best in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, is a grappler, holding professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, Habiba the Eagle, Ibadah And now with his opponent, fighting out of the leg corner. This man is a wrestler, holding professional record of 41 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsborough, Illinois, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and former UFC welterweight champion, Matt Hughes. I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, and we are underway. Here you go. First one. You ready? You ready? Let's well, go. how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Mago Madoff gets the early takedown. Nice start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Big he right hand there. right hand there as well. South position. Out of nowhere, this choke. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way. And there it is. Outstanding. Great 
job in establishing that submission. Well, yeah, Joe, that was fun while it lasted. He told us he wanted to be at his most efficient here tonight. He certainly didn't waste a lot of time. He knew he wanted to get the fight to the ground. He gets the early takedown, and the submission follows shortly thereafter. And here's the end of the fight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop with this contest at 1 minute 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Khabib the Eagle So nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy who is going to be even more dominant than he already is now. The Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, getting his hand raised in a big way here tonight.